Two-Face. Richard, how are you? Let's uh, get through your questions here. What is your favorite food? Uh, hands down, probably the worst thing for you, McDonald's french fries. I love McDonald's french fries. Definitely my favorite food. I can never get sick of those. Do you like the band Green Day? Yes, I do like the band Green Day. In fact, I have all of their albums, even before they were big. Um, I'm actually more of a fan of the uh, Dookie and then the two albums that came out after that, those are probably my favorites. Um, their recent albums are good too, um, and their older albums are good too, but uh, yeah, I'm a fan of Green Day. Are you going to buy the new Rocky figures from NECA? Yes, I am. In fact, I have already pre-ordered them, and they will be coming out in February, and I will be getting them. I have not decided yet if I'm going to open them or not, um, but we'll see. Uh, you guys will find out if I did open them or did not when I make a video on them. What Rocky figure from your collection is your favorite? Um, I had to think about this. I would probably say the uh, Hot Toys Rocky IV figure. Um, it's probably the hardest one to get, and everyone remembers how Rocky looks in Rocky IV. I mean, it was the biggest moneymaker of the whole series, so um, that's a cool one. I really like the look of it overall, so uh, yeah, Hot Toys Rocky IV. Okay, next question is from Cerebral Assassin 1977. Can you dance to Billie Jean? No. Uh, I'm not a great dancer. I mean, I can <laughs> dance, but it doesn't look good. Um, I do like Michael Jackson a lot. Uh, he was a great artist. No doubt about that, but no. I can't dance to Billie Jean. You need to talk to my cousin Bob. Uh, he can do it. Ichigumi! Hey, Eric. How are you, man? Uh, let's uh, go ahead and get to your questions. Favorite 80s horror movie? I had to actually think about this. Um, I almost was going to say Pet Cemetery. I love that movie. Um, that's a great Stephen King movie. But I'm going to go ahead and say A Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite 80s horror movie. Um, it's classic, and it's a good movie. It's a good horror movie. So the original, Nightmare on Elm Street, is my favorite. Have you seen the movie... I believe it is called Ricky, spoof on Rocky. No, I haven't. Um, I've never heard of that, actually. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up. That would be very uh, interesting to watch. Last but not least, got to ask it, have you seen or do you own a copy of the movie Party at Kitties? <laughs> uh, if anyone is not familiar with the movie Party at Kitties, um, it is uh, the softcore porno that Sylvester Stallone made way back when. Uh, also known as the Italian Stallion. Uh, have I seen this movie? Yes, I have. And this is kind of a funny story. Uh, I was probably 18 or 19, and I was working at uh, this um, mom-and-pop video store. And I was working during the day, and this is a, a store that, like, someone, during the week, like, someone would come in, like, once every couple of hours. Well, uh, they had an adult section, and I always saw the movie sitting there, and uh, <laughs> I was like, all right, I gotta check this out. So, like, I literally popped it in into the uh, TV that was there for people to see. I mean, obviously, I made sure no one was in the store, but uh, I, I put it in, and uh, I kind of just watched some parts and forwarded and watched some parts, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's something. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Okay, uh, the next questions come from the Hunter X 619 Hey, John, how are you? Have you ever been to Sly's old house in Miami? No, I've never uh, been to Stallone's house anywhere. Um, I, I haven't really traveled too much out of Illinois, so um, I didn't even know he had a place in Miami, so that's kind of interesting. Thanks for letting me know that. Where did you get all of your Rocky stuff? Well, um... A lot of it, most of it's from online. I mean, I've gotten uh, several items that were gifts, and I'm sure they got them from online. So, um, I mean, nowadays, uh, eBay and Amazon are going to be your best bets. But, like, every so often, if you do, like, some strange searches, like, there's a website called Trendsetter Store, and um, they have Rocky items. And uh, I have several of the items that they sold that are no longer made. Yeah, that's your best bet online. Have you ever met Sly? No, I haven't. I, I guarantee you, though, I'm going to visit California sometime, and I want to see his star on the Walk of Fame, and maybe look at his house from the outside, and who knows, maybe he'll be filming a movie at the time somewhere out there, and I'll get to see him from a distance. So, K 
can you give me a shout out? Yeah, I know you've been waiting for this, John. So yeah, go ahead and give you a shout out. Uh, the Hunter X six one nine is his page. Go ahead and check him out. He does actually a ton of stuff. Um, so yeah, check him out. Next questions from Bubbles KMV. Do you think Tanya Shire and Sylvester Stallone should have gotten married in real life? Please answer. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, they're actors, they're actresses. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, they they have chemistry together, for sure. And, you know, I've never read about them having a fling or anything. I mean, I guess Sly was always married, or at least most of the time, and I don't know much about Talia Shire if she's married or not, but no, I don't think they should have gotten married in real life. Uh, but they did have great chemistry, and what a great uh, movie couple, Rocky and Adrian. And if you don't, if anyone doesn't know this, my four-year-old daughter's name is Adrian. It's not spelled the same. My wife wanted to change the spelling, but uh, surprisingly, she was okay with naming her Adrian. I kind of brought it up as a joke. I was like, "Oh, how about Adrian?" When we were thinking of names, and she was like, "Oh, that is a pretty name." She's like, "But we're gonna spell it like this." I'm like, "Okay, it's fine." All right, Banshee Milk. Hey, Tony. How are you, man? Hey, buddy. Have you ever? heard that comic book icon Frank Miller wants Stallone to play Batman if they ever do a live-action version of Batman The Dark Knight Returns. I think this idea is awesome. Normally I wouldn't want Stallone as Batman, but in the case of that book it would make totally make sense. What do you think? Have you read that graphic novel? I haven't read it, Tony, but I totally know what you're talking about. I mean, Frank Miller's awesome, and I know um, The Dark Knight Returns, and there was all kinds of talk about it, um, about Stallone playing Batman, and the reason being is, is the storyline in that is it's an aged Batman. It's Batman in his later years, uh, you know, struggling with his age, you know, he's not able to do everything he he used to. And I do know that they took some of the premises from that graphic novel, novel and put it in The Dark Knight uh, with Heath Ledger and Christian Bale, so um, I have heard of that, and yeah, I mean, Frank Miller, yeah, said Stallone, and I mean, that would be awesome. I mean, just picture Judge Dredd, when he had his helmet on, you could only see, you know, Sly's mouth. I mean, you could, you'd totally be able to tell that Sly was Batman. I mean, it could work. I'd totally be behind that. Good question, Tony. All right, Mr. Jake the Retard. Hey, Jake. Got some questions for me. Let's go ahead and read them. Have you seen the trailer to The Dark Knight Rises? Yes, I have. I love Batman Begins, and I loved The Dark Knight even more. Um, so I have high hopes for this movie, but, um, and I love Christopher Nolan as a director, I gotta say. Um, the trailer is very strange to me. I want to hold judgment until seeing the movie, but the trailer was very odd. I did not like the Batwing or Batplane because the other two Batman movies that Nolan did, um, they are very realistic. Um, he's even said in the special features, everything you see in those movies is, is already a given thing in real life as far as, like, gadgets and whatnot. Uh, you know, the bat plane, it just seems too far-fetched for me. I think Tom Hardy is going to do a great job, but we've already seen many complaints that you can't understand what he's saying through that mask, so... And Anne Hathaway is hot, and I just don't know how they're going to do Catwoman. I, I just... I don't know. Uh, the trailer was good, but it wasn't great. Do you watch the new Thundercats TV show? Um, no. I I've actually seen a little tiny bit of it, but I've heard it's awesome. And I loved the Thundercats in the 80s. That was an awesome show. Do you think The Expendables 2 will be better than the first one, considering they have Chuck Norris in this? The Expendables 2 is going to be awesome. Um, I don't think that just because Chuck Norris is in it, it's going to be better. Um, I think it will be better, though, just because it's a sequel and they're going to try to improve on any little thing that people didn't like for the first movie, but um, it's going to be better than the first one, I I do believe. Um, not necessarily because of Chuck Norris, but it's cool that Chuck Norris is in it. Do you think Chris Hemsworth, who played Thor, is cut out to be in The Expendables 2? Now, Chris Hemsworth is not in The Expendables 2. It's Liam Hemsworth, who is Chris Hem Hemsworth's brother. Uh, little brother, I believe. But a lot of people are giving flack for Liam Hemsworth being in this movie. And you know what? I say give him a chance. I mean, I'm not going to judge... Either way, until I see how he does. I mean, some people are being really critical on him being in the movie, but maybe he'll do a good job. We'll have to see. Have you ever watched The Big Bang Theory? No, I haven't. I mean, I've caught a little bit of it, but um, I know several people that are huge fans of that show, and I know it's won uh, several Emmys, um, and I really should check it out because people say it's right up my alley, so maybe I'll give that one a go. 
Who's your favorite character in Rocky besides Rocky? This was an easy one for me. Mickey. Um, I love the character Mick and Burgess Meredith. Uh, rest in Peace was fantastic as that character. I really thought his acting ability showed through in Rocky II. Um, there's some great Mickey scenes in Rocky II. And no matter what you think of Rocky V, that flashback scene in my opinion, is one of the best scenes in the entire series. Um, in my top five for sure. Probably my top three. Um, so Mickey. Mickey Goldmill.